All right, people. Welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy III Postcom. So, after taking down Odin and grinding for hours on end to get to level 38, we're basically here at the Temple of Time, which is where Doga insisted we go to first. So, basically, I'm eight levels ahead of the game. It's not gonna last for long, but I'm basically more powerful than the game wants me to be at the moment. So, in the Temple of Time, there, there are plenty of treasures to get. The thing is, you'll either need a thief or plenty of magic keys. And since I stocked up on magic keys early early on in the game there was there was basically no need to have a thief like thieves aren't bad i just don't see myself using one because i there's nothing really to steal in the game like there's no point to stealing in the game because once you get the legendary weapons you pretty much won. And everything before then is suitable enough to take down anything that stands in your way. Check this out. Because we're showing off the prow- oh, never mind. Never mind. Wow, thanks, Camus. You, you're- you're- you're so great, I wanted to show off the win weakness on the dragon, you jerk. Okay, so what was I saying? I was saying that, uh... These aren't bad, like... There's just no... real point to them, because... Uh... What am I looking for? There's no reason to steal in this game because everything you get is already suitable enough to handle the challenges that come your way. Like, with with this squad set up right here, all you just need is magic keys. There's no point to getting a thief because you're not gonna need a thief. Alright, I was just about to say, I was just about to say, stop bugging me, encounters. I love being stronger than the game intends me to be at this point. It makes the grinding feel worth it. The only thing is... The grinding, like, isn't worth it. Well, not near the end, that is. Like, I didn't feel... I didn't feel accomplished having to grind for the final boss. And even then, I didn't do that much grinding. Like, we'll see when we get to that point, but... Sure, I did, I did a little grinding, but... I didn't have to grind as much as I thought. But of course... That boss was still... A pain in my ass. Like, the final boss is a pain in the dick. Like... You'll see. I shouldn't even talk about that right now. So, the Temple of Time is windy. It's got a lot of locked doors. And it's got water. 
you're gonna see a lot of dragons, chimeras, lizards, all types of water enemies. So make sure you're packing your thunder. And basically we're coming here to get Noah's loot. Noah's loot is the only way to wake up Oon from her dream state. Like you get you get a lot of good loot here. Like the Defender Sword, that carries me a long way. Or it carries me it carries me a ways. Like pretty much the blood sword has seen its last right here. I was thinking I was thinking about it because you know, it gives you the ability to absorb life. The only thing is it's weaker than what I've got, so it's like, do I want to trade off damage for life? And the answer is no. The Defender Sword, that casts Protect, so anytime you felt like it, you can use Protect on, protect on the party member without your White Mage having to cast it. Which is fine by me. The thing is, I never use it, because I'm so focused on having Camus dealing damage. We get a lot of- we get a lot of diamond armor. Uh, why would I even think about equipping that to my mages? That's impossible. They need light clothing. Like, you're asking them to wear diamond mail. Like, I should've equipped it on the Dragoon. Or, well, I should've equipped it on myself. If that's what that, uh, yeah. Cause I'm not, I don't remember if the diamond armor is better than the dragon garb I've got right now. I mean, it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, but, you know. So, we pretty much made it to where we need to be. That's not the door, that's not the door to Noah's loot, it's the other one. But, I wanted the loot in here. Ooh, this, this dude right here. This man is insane. Like, he pretty much looks like the dragon from the beginning of the game that Dash tells you to run away from. If you jump on him, um, you'll do quad nines, but I think he, this dragon right here, is pretty much the most dangerous encounter in the um, in the dungeon because not only does he have a beefy amount of HP he essentially goes twice he attacks twice like Tell me your opinions. Do you mind, um, do you mind encounters and bosses going, going and having turns twice or three times? Because I'm about to share my opinion. I don't mind if they go twice. Just, you know, give them, give them more damage if they're going to go twice. Don't make a boss that goes three times and has... Crazy damage output. That's too much. And then... I believe the final boss goes four times, like... The final boss can attack... Three or four times. No, 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 no. No, no, no. The final boss goes... Twice and has the... Has those little things that buff, buff. 
if if I'm taking that from memory. I I just can't remember. So, anyway, we found Noah's loot, and Noah's loot gives us a nice tune. I really like this tune. Alright, so we're done here. Now we need to go find Un. So get out of the dungeon. We're level 39. This place is like literally a level, level like 32 dungeon. So somewhere in the mountains of Seronia, like by Seronia Castle, is where Un's hidden. I, I, I don't know. I always gotta stay quiet when I hear that loot playing because the loot the loot does spin a good tune. But yeah, we, we basically we basically have Un on our side. And Oon? Oon is a really sprightly old lady. Like, I, I think I really ended up liking Oon near the end because... Because she's just more... She's more chipper than anything. Like, Doga... Doga's really... He's a really, like, serious dude, and Oon's over here... And Oon's over here making jokes about uh, our party being seen with old crone like her. Like she's she's basically a sprightly old lady with all the answers we need, which is which is absolutely insane. All right, with that piece of information, let's get a Un Shrine. We're gonna go find ourselves a ship. Oh man, I actually kept this in. Oh yeah, cause it's close by. Yeah, like this cave right here, this is where it harbors the invincible. Alright. So we can't we I I ended up coming here beforehand when I was looking for Un and I already I already spoke with like the scholars and stuff. But nothing activates until you get Oon. Like... You know what's insane? Oon? Where does Oon get all this stuff? Like, where'd she just get a Dream World stone? I mean, she's the guardian of the Dream World. So I, I, ain't, I ain't got a problem with that. 
I have no qualms with that. And Un, Un being the guardian of the dream world, she has mastery over white magic. But of course, you know... Wait, you know what's crazy? These guys are here after we clear up the stones. But how did they get here before us? Because the same three people that were talking about the stones were... were over there... were over there with the stones blocking the path. So, what I'm thinking is... How exactly did these people survive? Like, dude, were they were they just trapped in here? They they were they were trapped in here. This armor guy, the weaponsmith, those scholars, they were all they were all trapped by adamantite rocks in the way. I'm pretty sure there were more of them because they stumbled on cannibalism. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive, you know? That's not true, I'd never, I'd never stoop to cannibalism. But yeah, that's, that's one of the great mysteries of this world. How did these people survive? I mean, I, I see all those supplies, but it's not implied that they came in here after we did. In fact, nothing's implied blood lance by me now I can absorb life when I attack stuff imagine jumping imagine jumping on a dragon with a blood spear or well the blood lance so you're doing quad nines <laughs> and you're getting your health back? Equal to what, half of that? Like, you'll live forever, essentially. Like, how did all these people survive? Did they eat the plants? Geisho greens? I'm just not seeing it. Because they had to have been in here before we came in here. There's just no way. But with, I, I'm not worried about that. That's just, that's just me overthinking things. We need to go find ourselves a ship. But you already have a ship. That's the Nautilus. We need to find ourselves a real ship. Yeah. That's what I what I would have done. Hey, hey, thanks, thank, thank, thanks, Un, thanks. Wait, I remember that for some reason, Un gets Un gets multicast, but I can't. Like I can only haste with one, and I was like, I can only haste one person. I'm like, Oon, teach me your secrets! If if Rebecca got the ability to multi-haste... Jesus, man, there would be no... I would have no problems. Ooh, a chakra band? That's for, like... Monks, ninjas, go down, go down to where the real path is, stop thinking about fat loot, actually I'm lying, that's where the stairs are, like, what, what am I even talking about, I should just follow where, where my, where my video is sending me to. Because past past me already already knows where to go. 
And I'm really glad for this because for that long stretch, we didn't get not one encounter until just now. And I edited that one out. Which is fine by me. Like, I really do like this place because the encounter rate seems to be lower than... Lower than you think. Like, because the... It's not like the, um... It's not like the encounters change. Pretty much the one of the one encounter I showed off here was pretty much the one encounter that I saw the most of. And that's why I edited it out. Oh yeah, now this is a ship. Oh man, look at look at Oon getting all fourth wall breaky. Yeah, we got it, Oon. That is the first and only time you'll see the fat chocobo up here. Okie dokie. So thanks, th thanks, Oon. I appreciate it. Now, let's steer this baby. Or well, I wanted to see the armor, but the hitboxes on that thing are ugh. Check that out, Asuna. And I don't even think about Reflect until the end of the game. Like, I bought Reflect, but I never put it on until near the end where I thought I was gonna need this. Like, they basically have armor to stand up at this point in the game. I think the... I'm not sure if it does, but I believe the ship's inventory can change a little bit. But of this, I can't remember. Because I only shopped here this one time and one time only. Well, actually, I shopped here more than once for the, for the item shop, because I wanted to get a lot of high potions. But I believe this is where the episode's going to end, so... I'll see you guys next time. If this is where it ends. Yeah. See ya.